Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wasn't sure whether to film this video or not. It's a little project that I wanted to do. Um, and I was looking for a video as a kind of like inspiration tutorial style video to be able to do this project. Couldn't even find one, couldn't even find anything on Pinterest, which was similar to what I was wanting to do. So I thought I'll just film it. And then maybe if there's someone out there who wants to do something similar to what I want to do, then it may be helpful. So the other day I went to Ikea and I've had my eye on this little rug thing for quite a while. I'm sure you guys probably would have seen this before. It's called the Sort So Rug. Um, it's 55 by 85 centimeters. And it's just this little kind of natural weave rug with these kind of like little tassel details on them. This was only three pounds. I should double check that. Pretty sure it's only three pounds. It's so cheap. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for ages and use it somewhere in the house. Couldn't really think of anywhere that I wanted to put it as a rug, but I have been on the lookout for a really nice kind of woven textured cushion. I'm gonna put some photos in of what I mean, but I wanted something quite simple, natural color that had a little bit of texture to it, a little bit of detailing, tasseling, whatever it may be, um, that wasn't so flat. I've said this before, I feel like a lot of the stuff we have is just flat, plain cushions. I want to add some more stuff into the house which has a little bit more texture and it's a bit interesting, but not too out there because my style's not that crazy. Um, so yeah, have been looking at cushion covers and do you know what? They're kind of expensive. I'm gonna try and do this on a budget. So like I said, this is only three pounds. I'm gonna try and transform this into a cushion cover. I'm gonna show you guys how. Um, and I actually have some old cushions which are not the right size but i'm gonna take the filling out and use the filling so i'm like recycling some old cushions that were probably going to end up in the charity um shop anyway so yeah trying to reuse stuff that i already have um i'm going to very quickly explain what i'm going to try and do which is going to be really difficult i need to give this a bit of an iron first my plan is oh god this is gonna be so difficult to fold it over like this Oh, okay, like that and kind of do a double tassel kind of cushion like that so you'll get the nice kind of woven texture of the rug a little bit of tassel detail on the front but it's very kind of simple boho kind of style so yeah hopefully this will work so supplies that I'm going to be using to make this, I have obviously a needle and some thread. I have a kind of golden tone thread, which I think will work. Um, obviously an iron, I need to iron this out and I'm going to iron it into the shape that I want it before I start. So hopefully it will kind of like stay that kind of, you know what I mean? Um, obviously cushion inserts, the rug. And one other thing that I have is um, it's called hemming tape. I actually use this to take up um, my net curtains upstairs and I loved it. And what it is, it's a tape that you kind of, you put it along the fabric, fold it over and iron it. And it kind of acts as like a little bit of an adhesive kind of glue. So if you see me using a white tape, that's what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Um, so I'm literally just gonna film what I'm doing and hopefully it turns out okay. So yeah.
Okay, so I thought I would just give you a proper kind of update. So this is my pillow so far. What I was originally gonna do, um, so you would have already seen, I kind of ironed out the creases that were already in this. I folded it over into the shape that I wanted and ironed it to kind of train it into the shape that I wanted. Um, and I did use some of that um, hemming tape under here. It's not really, really stable, but I think it definitely holds it in place a little bit more. What I was gonna do was actually just stitch up one side and then stuff it and stitch up the other side. But then I realized it actually kind of has a little flap in here so you can put the pillow in. Um, Rocky has been keeping the pillows warm for me. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to take the stuffing out or not, or if I can just fill it in, but we shall see. Okay, so it's a little too full. Um, this was the kind of pillow insert I put in, so it's exactly the right width. It's just a square one, so it's too tall. Um, but I think I might just open it up and take a little bit of the stuffing out so that it is still in this little kind of casing um, thing. I am gonna need to stitch this bit up after, but yeah. Let me just try and work some magic on it. Okay guys, so I'm all done and this is how the cushion turned out. So I'm really, really happy with it actually. Turned out exactly how I kind of imagined. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've not got it perfectly straight, um, but I think it's really, really cute and it's that kind of simplistic, um, more natural boho vibe that I wanted to go for. So I might chuck this on the sofa or on our guest bed. Um, I only ended up using one of those cushions, so obviously I have more cushion fillings to do another one if I did one, but this obviously just cost me three pounds to do. So it was really, really cheap and affordable. If you are looking for a similar kind of woven cushion style, then I definitely recommend just giving it a go. Obviously I'm sure there's like loads of other ways that you could kind of fold the cushion, um, to kind of make it more like what you want. I personally think this kind of um, sh size and shape is quite good. I did think also you could do a bolster. Is it called a bolster? You know, the really long, thin ones, if you were just to kind of roll it like a sausage and kind of have the tasseling on the outside there, that would look really cool as well and would work quite well on a bed. So yeah, really happy with how that's turned out and I think I'm definitely going to do another one. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it's been a bit of a quick kind of random one, but I just wanted to share with you guys how it turned out. Because like I said, I was thinking about doing it for a while, but wasn't quite sure myself. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and, and turn your notifications on so you don't miss an upcoming video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.